No return to Let's Play Fallout 2. Alright. It is, uh... It is Harold we need to be talking to. At least he was the guy who told me that uh, I need to go out there. What you need, youngster? I got the part needed to fix your reactor. I'm gonna go and try to get it installed in the reactor. I'll report back when I'm done. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well then we just we were where we were supposed to be that whole time. Oh my god, you guys. Hi, shills. <laughs> Ow. Super friendly. Alright. So we went to the left side last time. We'll be hidden this way this time. Okay. I'm willing to bet that big area with the red doors where we need to go. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Back into this extremely loud room we've got here. The door appears to be locked. Okay, look into the control area. Oh, you know what I bet? I bet we use that on it. Something goes wrong. Go and lock the door. So that's, but that's a red key card. Where, am I, where do I get a red key card from? Is I already grabbed out of there? We go. <laughs> get the fuck out of the way! God damn it! There's nothing in here, so there's not really a reason to go there, I guess. This is definitely cumbersome, sometimes. Just hit the console till I get it working again. Okay. Who are you? Particularly unkempt ghoul. What brings you to this part of my atomic reactor? Well, I have a part that you can use to fix the reactor. Hold on. person will not barter with you. Okay. You have a spare hydroelectric magne magnetosphere regulator on you? Actually, you know what it is? Of course. Are you ready to install it? Well, I guess I could install it. I'm certainly the only one that could install it, right? Uh, installing the hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator is pretty tricky. Okay, here's the regulator. I know it could count on you. Okay, I'm here. Vestus leaves and comes back. He's still carrying the part. But I'm still not sure that this isn't the right part or that it's not a trap somehow. You know, I'm much too valuable to waste. Maybe I should just let someone else do it. Later. Much later. It needs to be done now, and you're the only person that can do it. Come on, all Gecko depends on you. Festus leaves. He's looking very pleased about something. Gecko sure owes me now. 4,000 experience. Perfect, perfect. Uh, we'll leave the booze. Do I need this much Coca Nuka Cola? I mean, I have so much of it. It's really only useful for creating stim packs with, apparently. And uh, and uh, yeah, I don't I don't get much else out of it. With a concerned look on his face, is it okay? So, but that was it, right? Like, that was the only thing we needed to do? Oh my god, there's two of them? That does nothing. 
Thanks for fixing it. Okay. <laughs> Actors fixed. Job's done. I mean, I could sell the, the, the Nuka Cola for about three bucks. I could take all the booze for three bucks. You're back, huh? Take a wrong turn? Actually, I need directions to something else. Okay, nothing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I barter with you still? Forget. Oh, here's not a character I could barter with. Alright. So apparently the reactor is done. That means that we go back. Mighty kind of you helping us out with the atomic power plant. We're in your debt. Now, what can this cranky old carcass do for you? Got nothing. Just passing through. Okay. Um, in that case, the only trading guy was this guy up here, right? We've been gone, so maybe he's replenished his supplies. But otherwise, yeah, I think. Do you have anything I can barter for? Right, he's the guy who had tons of... Uh, big Book of Science? Did I determine... Was it... Hold up. No, I think it's... I think that's what I wanted. What? Well, the big guns, yeah, but what else did I... Maybe it was the repair gun? I don't know. I think it was the repair, actually, because we've got Vic to do the repairing. Yeah, that's that's it. I decided that I wasn't going to use any of that stuff. Okay, well, we may as well use this, then. Pass some time. So now I'm at 64% science. That's pretty good. Um, right, so... He's got 600 bucks. What do you have... That I can sell. Fuel cell controller, Desert Eagle. We could sell the crowbar. Because I've got a crowbar. No? We have an extra tool. Okay, I can sell the tool. Those guns are going to be too pricey, I'm pretty convinced. Because this is like an $800 gun. If I recall... It's like a thousand dollars there. Yeah, so I think we'll just sell. So I'm I'm holding on to that then for if I need to bust something open, I guess. What you be needing? Get the mentats. I need to do something. Yeah, I've got too many Nuka Colas already, so we don't need more. Um, yeah, because we already got the toolkit, right? Because I needed a tool and a wrench to make the toolkit, which I gave to what's his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we've already done that part. Um, so may as well just give me some money for this tool here for the road. Okay, one last check through here. So this is just a 14 mil. Now that ammo, maybe I'll want. That's Vic's ammo. I think we're fine. I guess I could pick up another rat away, seeing how expensive those are, and they're very hard to come by. But, all right. Let's get out of here. I guess I can check my pit boy just to make sure. Yeah, we just gotta get Woody. Vault City wants me to come back and talk to him.
Before we do this, of course, I ought to uh, quick save. To Boat City. Oh boy, another special encounter. A crashed shuttle. <laughs> Star Trek reference. Well, may as well check him. A dead red shirt. Are we gonna maybe get a. You fucking idiot! You know what? Fine. If we're gonna have to. Do not walk in the goddamn puddles. A phaser. Are we for real? Hypos. Not sure what those are. Don't go walking in the goddamn fucking toxic sludge. What the hell? More hypos. Medical injection instrument of some kind looks very high tech. You don't know what it's filled with. It appears to only have one dose left. That's unfortunate. A mysterious high tech weapon appears to have some sort of energy generator inside. If it wasn't damaged, this gun could be the ultimate weapon against any enemy. God damn it. The backup energy modules consist of replaceable small energy cells. It has 12 shots in it. The small energy cells. If it wasn't damaged. So, are we suggesting it doesn't work then? Now, this makes it an energy weapon, which unfortunately I'm not too well versed in. So, but who is? If I'm not mistaken, Vic can use energy weapons. I'll have to look that up. But, uh, so I wonder if this is the equivalent of the alien ray gun from the first game. That would be interesting. Quick save again, and head off with our booty. Chosen, the spirits of our ancestors guide me to a world of dreams that I may touch thoughts. Our village suffers without the holy geck. Your hands hold our lives as a father holds his children. All right. I read about that. Um, apparently, that's, you know, it's telling me that, hey, you gotta hurry up and find the Gek and bring it back. Um, apparently, he does that four times, and if we get to the fourth time, it's too late. So, yeah. I think we still got time, but less, less so. Much less so. Okay. I hope that doesn't count as contraband. I guess we'll find out. I have a pass. Yes, you have a day pass. Does it look like day to you? I, I guess I could flash my, my citizen papers. I'm a citizen. Citizen, let me see your papers. Here you go. These look legit. Funny, I don't recall ever seeing you around here before. Well, perhaps you should be more observant. I have an appointment with the first citizen, and he's expecting me. That's not a he. I hope you remember me next time. Let's try that one. We must have missed each other. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. How about that? All right, you're clear to enter. Fault City prevails, citizen. Ah, uh, yes, Fault City prevails. How about thanks? Hmm. It's probably not as... I don't know. Okay, that worked. <laughs> yeah. Gotta be careful there. Can't say anything that would be, uh... Be iffy. Oh, yeah. Let's go Let's go in here, because now time has passed. Do you have anything to barter? Sorry, last call was a while ago. Okay, no. What time is it, exactly? 11 o'clock. Uh... Who the hell am I... After here. It's up in here, yeah. So, wait a minute, let me go check. If it's like last time, they've only got about 200 something in their uh, 
Cad, nobody's here. Okay. Well. Wasn't there a locker in here I didn't manage to open? Excuse me, do you have a day pass? You they better not be talking to me. Oh, I popped them all open, okay. Well, you know, I did kind of lie, but technically I'm about to become a citizen because that was the, the deal, right? If we fix the plant, the guy was going to make me citizen. So we just came prematurely, that's all. That, that, that's not what I meant to say. It sounded bad. Oh, God damn it! And you can't rest within the city. Past 6 p.m. Time for you to return to the courtyard. Look, I'm a citizen. <laughs> All right, I'll leave right now. May as well, because like I said, that's... Well, I'll just make sure you get to the courtyard safe and sound. Okay, let's go. <sighs> God damn it. All right, we got to get here at morning. Rest till morning, fine. What a waste of time. Nice to see you, citizen. Okay, now the guards think I'm a citizen. Except for the one, apparently. Wait a minute, do you have money? This is the Brahmin dealer, dude. Ah, uh, okay. He's only got 23 bucks. Character's not irradiated, so I don't have to stop at the doctor's. Happy meets Harry. Happy Harry, whatever, the meat, dude. Did you have money? Nice day for somebody. Guns and bullets. Right, the fuel cells. How much did you want for these? 1700 So basically, if I turned in the guns, I could get those. How much does this thing go for? I still maintain we should keep that, though. It's a rare item. Should I waste that much money on these things? Because I don't know when we're going to get more. Those are rare. Now, wait a minute. This said it took... What? Small energy cells, right? are different. It's just, I've got so much money right now, but I don't know when I'm going to need it for later. Yeah, I guess I should have done that from the beginning. You should be here now. We have in stock. Okay, so he's got 200 bucks. Yeah, those things are still hyper expensive. So that's weird, though. The, the fact that there was the guard there anyway that was like, hey, you need to go, it's past 6 p.m. You know, if I told the one guard I was a citizen and the guards let me through the gates, I'm not sure why they were, uh, why that happened, other than they just didn't code that guy correctly or whatever. Yes, was it something you wanted? Uh, I repaired the plant. Excellent. I was worried the radiation buildup might force us to relocate. You are to be commended on a job well done. Here's your citizenship papers. If you ever need anything, come see me. Still looking for a way to optimize the power plant. 
Wish I could help, but I'm afraid my knowledge of reactors is limited. Perhaps one of the technicians at the gecko plant could... would know how to optimize the plant? Okay. Uh, there's nothing to barter. Okay. So I have actual papers now. Do I? I repaired the plant. Yes, you mentioned that. Well done. <laughs> okay. So now we can get into the vault. Uh, where's the enter? Oh, it's from the other direction, isn't it? Okay, just to make sure we will save again. Still want to be cautious. Hello, citizen. So that seems like a little bit of a bug too, though. Um, the fact that okay, that probably is the exit then. The the fact that. Uh, I have my false papers with me, but not the actual papers. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned the whole citizen thing beforehand. We got us a computer here. Do you see a computer? Okay, I can't use that. How about my science? I fail to learn anything. Okay. Thin young woman. She smells faintly of antiseptic. Oh, hello there. I haven't seen you around before. Are you a new citizen? Yes, I re just recently got my citizenship. Well, welcome to Vault City, fellow citizen. We don't see many new faces around here. I'm Phyllis. What's your name? Uh... I'm Gaz Jr. What do you do around here? I'm the resident medical assistant. I work for Dr. Troy. I have questions. Okay, can you tell me where Central Computer is? It's down on third level, if I remember correctly. I haven't been down there in ages. Why not? Oh, I don't know. Not much reason to go down into the vault. It's mostly used for storage space nowadays. The only one down there is Martin, and, well, he's just between just between you and me. He's not a great conversationalist. Other questions. Uh, what do you do here? I'm resident medical. So, can you tell me about Vault City? Vault City? Well, actually, there's not much to say. I mean... I've been a citizen all my life, but there's not much to do in Vault City at all. Seems a shame that a beautiful young woman such as yourself can't find something to do in Vault City. Can we can we do this? Is this leading me to another encounter here? Nothing at all? Come on. Let's let's try this one. Pardon me? I couldn't help notice you're an attractive young woman who could stand to go out once in a while. How about you and I have dinner? Oh, well, I'd love to. Great, let's go. 100 experience points. You resolve never to date anyone like her again. You quickly discover Phyllis is rather dull and self-centered. Maybe I'll go out another time. I'll uh, call you goodbye. Okay, but there should be other things we can do with Phyllis. What can you tell me about Vault City? Nothing at all. Come on. Look, I know you're a new citizen now, and I don't mean to throw a damper on your citizenship, but this city can be very dull at times. How so? I mean, I have you noticed how similar everyone is, and old? Most of the seminars and extracurricular activities are geared toward octogenarians. I'm barely 25, and this city makes me feel like I'm 50. I do not know that that date counted as a sexual encounter, though. I don't think it did. I just got experience points. Speaking of old, I noticed there aren't any children in the city. I did notice the similarity of citizens. Mmm, okay. Hold on a minute, because there's something... There's a way to, uh... Sterility, donate, okay. Hold on a minute. Uh, speaking of old, I noticed there aren't any children in the city. Or do I want to do this one first? I don't remember. Let's try this one first. Well, yes. Actually, there aren't yet. I don't know if anyone told you yet, 
Vault City is a planned community. We're not due for another pregnancy cycle until a few years from now. Weren't any children because this might be a European version of Fallout 2. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, so in uh, in the European version of the game, apparently they took all the kids out because the whole you know you can kill kids in the game thing, and I guess that was against uh, EU laws or something. Um, anyway, uh, pregnancy cycle. Yes, pregnancies are permitted only during certain years established by the council. What if you get pregnant anyway? How would that happen? Uh, last I heard, sex can make someone pregnant. Oh, you mean intercourse? Intercourse is still allowed outside pregnancy cycles. Doesn't that make people pregnant? Oh, no, no. You see, our pregnancies don't result from intercourse. I don't want to know anymore. I'm afraid to ask, but I will anyway. Male citizens donate to the auto dock here in the vault, and the most favorable matches are chosen by the computer. Then the appropriate female citizen is seated by the auto dock. Will people still get pregnant? You know, I would very much like to ask you another question. Excuse me, I'm going to see if I can get my citizenship revoked. Um, so we can donate here. Can I donate? Certainly, we'd welcome your contribution. Vault City could use some fresh genetic material. Uh, could I get a magazine or something? Hooray! 500! You have given Vault City a donation and introduced favorable genetic material into their community. Your contribution is impressive. You yourself seem to be quite gifted. How do you feel? I can honestly say I've never missed the prim primitive charm of Arroyo more until this moment. And we should have gotten another magazine! Hooray! Okay. Tell me about Vault City. Nothing to do. Dull. Let's see if we can convince her to have sex, though. Is that a thing? Let me see. I'm about to really donate charm. Speaking of old, I noticed there aren't any children here. Pregnancy cycle, pregnant. Sex, pregnant. Ask anyway. Don't people still get pregnant from intercourse? What about accidental pregnancies? Well, actually, you see, this is something I've been thinking about recently, but citizens don't seem to have accidental pregnancies. The only successful pregnancies have been facilitated by the auto dock. So, the reactor water has made everyone in the city sterile. Maybe it's just because they don't have real sex around here. Oh, no, no, no. You see, our pregnancies don't result from intercourse. I'll ask anyway. Oh, okay. I just thought I'd ask. Hmm, okay. Uh, Vault City, nothing at all. Dull. Ah, oh, shit. I'm going to do that. Uh, can I ask you another question? Vault City, nothing at all. Dull. I did notice the similarity of the citizens. It's like they're all clones. They all dress alike, act alike, and the worst part is everyone seems happy with it. I, well, sometimes I worry that I'll end up just... Like, being just like them. That sounds silly, doesn't it? Not at all. Pressure to conform must be pretty rough around here, especially considering how insular the community Vault City is. Yeah, it can get kind of overwhelming at times, but here I am bringing down your opinion of Vault City. Don't misunderstand me. It's a great place to live. Just a suggestion, but you might want to travel a little outside Vault City, even speak to some of the merchants in the courtyard. They might be able to broaden your horizons a little. Well, I've been tempted to go outside the gate, but the other citizens have warned me against it. It's just another reason to do it. You don't want to do what the other citizens do. You want they're all set in their ways. Well, it can be dangerous out there. Uh, that's right. How about this one? You know, you're right. 300 experience points. Maybe I will step outside the gate when I get a chance. I'd like to know more about the world outside. You convinced Phyllis to see the outside world. It'll be good for you. Take care. Okay. I think that is all we can do with her. Uh, sterility donate. Yeah, okay. Goody, goody. Uh, inventory. Okay, we've still got some weight. Unfortunately, we could not have our own intercourse because then that would count towards the 10 that I require to become a porn star. Hello, I'm Dr. Troy. How may I be of assistance? What do you have to sell me? Nothing. I'm looking for the man. What do you do here? 
I am Vault City's primary physician. I take care of all citizens within Vault City and do my best to keep everyone healthy. I'm looking for the main computer. Can you tell me where it is? The main computer? It's down on the third level. Just take the elevator down, walk straight until you hit the T inter intersection, then uh, make the first left. That'll take you straight T left. Okay. That'll take you there. Uh, thanks. Hold on a moment. I don't recall seeing you around before. Are you a citizen? Yes, I just got my citizenship papers only recently. You're not a Vault City native, though, am I right? I'm certain I would remember someone like you. Where are you from? Uh, from a small village to the west, Arroyo. Or I could ask, why do you want to know? Yeah, I don't know. These people being bigots... Well, I wonder if I should have talked to him without my... Oh, with my vault suit on. Uh, what do you want to know? Sorry to pry, I was just looking for someone who had traveled beyond the walls of Vault City. Most citizens will never have left the city. Looking for someone, why? I've been looking for someone who might be able to perform a special errand for me. What is it? It w has come to my attention that there's a new drug in the waste. It's called Jet, I believe. I'm willing to pay a thousand dollars for a sample. Okay, so you want me to smuggle some Jet into Vault City for you? Yes, I'm willing to pay a thousand dollars for a sample, and your silence. What would you want the jet for? That is not your concern. Obtain a sample of jet, bring it to me, and I'll pay you a thousand dollars, and that price includes your silence. Okay, no problem. You can count on me. Excellent. Return here when you have obtained the jet, and I'll have your payment ready. I'll be back with the jet. If just so happens. What Jibby need? I stashed this away for just this very instance. And you know what? Uh, are you the one holding on to my magazines? No, I swapped those. I swapped them over to Vic. I don't know. You know what? Ah, oh, you know what? Do we have to go... Let's see. I'm just looking here. If we have to come back to Gecko, I should have left this because we don't need this anymore. I think we'll be coming back to Gecko at some point anyway, so that's fine. Okay. Uh, anyway, trade. That's it for now. So, if we give this to him, he makes some antidotes that we can come back for. So maybe we can pick it up on the right way back. I got the jet you wanted. About that jet you wanted. I think other citizens might like to know about it too. Hmm? I don't know that we want to do that. Got the jet you wanted. Excellent. Thank you, my friend. You have no idea how important this is to my work. Here's your payment, as promised. Right before I go, I had some other questions. Uh, nothing. <laughs> money, money. Good, good. Phyllis, could you bring me this Pro Console's blood test, please? Sorry, Dave, I can't do that. Is that the computer saying that? This terminal is displaying a series of glowing green bars that rise and fall irregularly. You could glean more from the scientific approach. Yeah, yeah. You have logged into Vault City Medical Database. Although the interface is difficult to understand, the database itself seems to have broken down into a series of archives. Search the archives for locations of vaults. You don't, know any, you don't find any mention of vaults in the database. It's mostly medical information related to anatomy, known diseases, treatments, drugs, and implants. Search for mention of a Garden of Eden creation kit. You don't find mention of it. Okay. Uh, database for anything of interest. You search the database, but the terminology is too cryptic to understand. If you knew more about medical professions, it might not be a problem. Continue to search the archives. Uh, mention of Vault 13. No mention. Okay. So I think my doctor skill needs to be higher. And then I can use it for something. Ah, I got it. Use science on it. Use science on it. Okay, yeah, same, same computer. Alright, well done. So if I was more of a doctor, then I could get something out of it. Alright, uh, we probably also want to uh, do a quick save here.
We'll head to Vault 2, or er, uh, level 2 first. <laughs> Not Vault 2. Because it's all storage, baby. Oh my god. There better be stuff in all of this. The door is stuck. It'd take a very strong person to open it. Uh, really? You tell me we can't lockpick it? Stuck, not locked. Alright. One of you guys, who's got my crowbar? What you be need? Was it Vic that had my crowbar? Maybe. Sulik uh, has. Can I see his stats from here? I can't see his stats from here. I I think it's Sulik who's got good strength. I don't I don't believe I can get somebody else to open that though. That's a real pain. Okay, Vic. We'll swap you that and man. Should I just have him hold on to this? I don't want him using it. I don't want him using the stims. Maybe he can use that, though. Again, I'll have to look. Even with the crowbar, you aren't strong enough to force the door. Damn it. It appears to be locked. Okay. Lock picking. Well, that's shitty. I bet that room has good stuff in it, too. What is that? Water chips. Can we sell these? We'll find out, I guess. Water chips. I wonder if they're worth anything. Let me look real quick and see if they are. Alright, they apparently are worth 10 bucks a piece, and there are like 400 on this level, so there's like $4,000 just sitting there. Also found a motion sensor and a computer voice module, um, which I guess I will just give to you. Um, so yeah, the thing about all these um, water chips is that they weigh a crap ton. Uh, I filled up Cassidy's inventory here, so he's he's uh, got about 75 in his inventory, um, which means that there's a lot of water chips that I think we're just going to have to leave here. Ooh, big book of science, take it all. Nothing else in this room, it looks like. Seen one monitor, you see them all. Cat's paw, what is that? Dusty box of some sort. Television dinner, you're not sure, it's definitely not edible. Not sure if it ever was. Junk. I don't know that that sells for anything. We'll leave, uh, I don't know, man. At this point, I think I should just take everything, because everything... <laughs> I, the, the people in Vault City are just not very good at uh, having a lot of money for the more expensive stuff, so if I want to get my nickels and dimes, i got to sell them all the, the crappy stuff. So we just took some poor sucker's stash, because this is the room of somebody around here, but you know what, they're all bigots in Vault City, so who cares, right? Um, okay. Quick save one more time. An air vent supplying processed clean air to the entire vault. You can hear a faint rattle from inside. Let me help. Please do. What are you doing? Are you gonna fucking get over here, or what? Got 100 experience points. You open the vent and look for a source of the rattling. You pull something lodged inside and pull it out. 
Hey, few cells. Oosh. Okay, we're hurting for that. Um, you. Mr. Pack Mule. Right, I will keep those in my inventory because I want to sell them. We'll trade. I uh, may as well use the Book of Science again. May as well use it now. That was five pounds worth of books there. Okay, what is my level now? 67 science. Okay, I am imagining these are all full of water chips. It's level two. But you never know. Yes, they are. I'm very, very tempted to fill up everyone's inventory with shit, but at the same time, I mean... Although Sulik, hey, wrench. Well, every tool imaginable we could want. All right. We will, uh. Fail to pick the lock. Is it even locked? There we go. I'll open this stuff up just to see what's in here. A lighter? A radio? Scout handbook? Ah! Uh, fuck! Why? What is in my inventory that is so much weight? Like, these don't weigh anything? I guess maybe I got too much ammo? I don't... I don't freaking know, man. But, like, my inventory management skills suck. What? So, look, <laughs> how much... How much space do you have? Got 80 pounds. Yeah, see, filling that up right now with uh, with all that crap, it's not a good idea. Okay, uh, Vic has my other one of those. I'm just going to give all of this to you to hold on to for now. It's 37 pounds worth of shit. Another benefit to gaining as many companions as possible the ability to load them up. May as well use the book here. Pass more time. What you be needing? But I'm just gonna have to fill these guys up with all the stuff I'm gonna sell right back to Vault City. Now those, I've already got my ten. All right, what are you weighing now? It's got about 20 pounds worth. And then that just leaves Vic. You're gonna have to get the hell out of the way. It's stuck, not locked. Ah, uh, it's another one of those. So two, two valuable rooms here with even more stuff in them that I'll never be able to crack open. You know what? We'll take them. Ooh, what do we have here? Somebody's stash. I wonder if this is Nurse What's-Her-Face's stash. All right. So the question is now. Well, uh, yeah, because I can't, I can't stay in Vault City what and offload mean? all that stuff either. Is the problem. So. All right, I gave you all those. Okay, so we'll give, give that, give that, give that, give all of those, and all of those. That's just one too many. He's full. 
That's not promising, because I think there's still one more level to, to loot. So we may end up leaving a bunch of shit. I don't know why I need the cosmetics kit. I'm just being greedy right now. I'm taking people's things just because I can. Alright. Well, I'll end this one here. We'll go down to third level and finish that stuff off. And then... I think we're pretty much done with this area. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, well, new Reno, and then this is something else entirely. Gotta go back to the den for that, and now that I've got the modules, I can go fix the car. Ooh, the car. God, what a pain, but I can empty all my shit into... I can empty all my shit into the trunk of the car once we get it come back here, fill it up with water chips, and uh, maybe go find some... I mean, with that many water chips, that's 4,000 bucks right there. I could just continually trade stuff. Condense it down, get all the armor, all the whatever that I want. Actually, maybe that's what I should be doing with all this stuff. Just taking the water chips, going upstairs, offloading them for uh, the, the expensive armors and stuff like that. Because we got more metal armors up there. And filling these two guys with the armors. Oh, maybe we'll do that. I'll think about it. I'll have to do that off camera, though. I'll end this one here. I'll see you next time.